Israeli sources say that just after midnight here in Israel, Iran fired, as you say, 20 rockets from inside Syria into the Golan Heights in the north of this country. And if that is true, that is the first time Iran has taken such action against Syria from inside, uh, rather against Israel, from inside Syria using rockets. A big escalation of this already tense situation. According to the Israeli Defense Forces, a number of rockets were intercepted by the Iron Dome defense system, but not all of them. And a military spokesman blamed Iran's foreign alcohol Quds force for the attack. No casualties have yet been reported. A pro-Syrian TV station, though, has claimed that over 50 rockets were in fact fired into the Golan Heights and says that they were targeting Israeli troops and forward bases in the area. Yesterday, there was a rare strike near Damascus, but tonight, the Syrian capital was said to shake with the sound of explosions. Reports suggest Israeli planes were targeting radar and air defense systems in retaliation. Sarah Sanders said earlier today that Iran's attack shows President Trump was right. This just further shows that the Iranian regime cannot be trusted. Israel absolutely has a sovereign right to defend itself. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who's currently visiting Vladimir Putin in Moscow, has always said he would never allow Iran to develop a permanent military presence in Syria. He also told Putin yesterday that Israel had a right to defend itself. Meanwhile, Iranian politicians have been burning American flags in parliament, screaming death to America in response to the U.S. leaving the Iran deal. Iran has also said it's preparing to restart uranium enrichment if the deal collapsed. In response to that, Saudi Arabia has warned that if Iran pursued a bomb, so would they. In better news, though, we are only a few days away from the opening of the new U.S. embassy in Jerusalem, and so grateful are Israelis that they have named a square the U.S. square in honor of President Donald Trump. So a lot of news happening in this area at the moment, but of course that big one, that Iran launched rockets into northern Israel. Israel has retaliated against their positions in Syria, and so we wait to see whether that escalates or whether that is it for the moment. Shannon? All right, Benjamin Hall, live force in Jerusalem. Thank you very much.